Ex-Rangers player Alan Hutton has been trying to talk up the fact that Leo Labada could leave Celtic this summer. And the media are also talking about the fact that Adrian Borland could be near a transfer exit. You might ask who Adrian Borland is. He's seemingly a Celtic starlet and plays in the youth ranks for Celtic. Kenny Miller has also been talking about the fact that the day that he signed for Celtic, he knew, he knew the day that he would one day sign for Rangers again. And Alan Brazil seems to be the only person that is still talking about the the Glasgow kiss or the headbutt and um, the rest of the media seem to be wanting to sweep it under the table, but I'm sure it won't be allowed to over the next couple of weeks. Anyway, back to the Lil Abada story. Obviously, Lil Abada has Jota, Dyson, Maida, said Haksabanovic and James Forrest all playing in the same part of the pitch for him and Alan Hutton has basically said that the player is unhappy at Celtic. Celtic obviously spent 3.6 million two years ago uh, to bring the player in as a young player and they should accept any offer, he said. They should accept any offer they can for him this summer. I don't think it will just be any offer. The fact that um, Southampton are seemingly circling around them with a 10 million offer. I said there's, there's been a lot to talk about. I, Alan Hutton goes on to say, uh, I don't think Ange will want to let him go. He still has played minutes this season, but it doesn't help when you go away on international duty and come back injured when you're desperate to play football. He's a young guy. He has a lot to give. Ange Postecoglou obviously trusts him. It's all about forcing his way into the team which is difficult at a big club you've got to remember that the guy's only 21 also there's a lot of Scottish players that are the same age as him that aren't getting in the team so um, you have to take from that what you want as a young player he obviously has a long term future at the club but it's whether he's willing to bide his time so it just seems to be the fact there's a lot of media people trying to talk him out of the club um, I think they've kind of came to the conclusion that they're, they're not going to be able to get rid of Kyogo, Jota and a few other players and uh, they seem to be trying to pick on somebody that's younger and weaker with a weaker mindset maybe and try to focus on that talking about younger players that are going to leave Celtic allegedly Adrian Borland has needed this is making headline news the villains please tell me they don't call themselves the villains Aston Villa fan do you really call yourself the villains jeez anyway they're set to raid the Scottish youth ranks again it says for a Parkhead youth star in the form of Adrian Borland. The Midlands club are in pole position to land the talented teenager. Celtic have offered the youngster professional terms, but it looks like he'll be heading to the, the Midlands as Villa track his record. Um, another story that's just uh, nothing really. Talking about nothing stories, Kenny Miller has revealed that his Rangers return was a destiny and he knew it would happen even on the day that he signed for Celtic. Ah, oh, these people, and the thing is, it's Keith Jackson that's done this story, um, you know, and it's like, it's a nothing story on the day that's a slow news week, and they're doing anything to try and not talk about Rangers and not talk about what went on, so Kenny Miller has admitted that he knew he would return to Rangers, the old Rangers, even the day he put pen to paper at Parkhead, no he didn't, Kenny, you run about kissing the Celtic badge and everything at your time at Celtic, so didn't he give me that wind and pish, honestly. Um, it obviously left after Dick Advocat lost the league um, again. Uh, he was then to go on to sign for Gordon Strachan, scoring his first goal as a Celtic player on an old Glasgow derby. Um, who cares? It's Kenny Miller. He's a clown. He's an absolute clown. You know, he's, he's, he tries to feel relevant. He's a bit like Tom, uh, Chris Boyd in that aspect, talking about irrelevant people. Um, <laughs> Alan Brazil, Alan Brazil was obviously wasn't in the week. He said he wasn't in the UK at the weekend, but he turned to requesting Ali McCoy's on what's going on up there. Alan Brazil is another one that he's never really goes to Scottish football games, and he always talks about it. But anyway, Ali McCoy was quizzed by him, saying what's going on in the head of the the Rangers coach, the Rangers women's coach, for him to headbutt, or attempt head. It was a headbutt. Let's let's face it, it to uh, headbutt the Celtic coach. And McCoy's basically turning around and said he's in massive, massive trouble. If the guy's not banned from football, there's something wrong. Um, there's been a lot of people, a lot of silly, silly comments um, on the channel from the other side, uh, which would, you would you would expect, you would expect. But anyway, we digress. So the, in other Celtic FC news this morning, obviously um, people are saying that Joe Hart will sign again. Uh, Shea Givens actually tipped him to stay another few years at Celtic and 
That's really about it this morning. There's not a lot of news. I might do another update this afternoon if anything comes out. You know, it's just one of those days. It's international week. It is a slow news week. We are back this weekend with a game against Ross County. It is early in the morning. We'll see what happens this afternoon. On that note, have a great day, Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party. Roll